What it do? What the business is? It's your boy Joe coming to you with a what? A uh, what? A what? A what? A what? Another review. <laughs> Today, I'm just gonna do a pretty much not really a review, but just some of my suggestions of the tire shine that I've been using um, for the past several months. And you know what I read them as. I, I get a lot of people asking me um, some of my recommendation on tire shines. But anyway, no talking. Stay tuned. Alright man, what to do what the business is, it's your boy Joe. Today, I'm just gonna be talking about some tire shines that I use on a regular. Um also in my car detailing business. Um I give you some uh, suggestions because everyone has their favorites. Um my personal favorite off top right now is this stuff right here by Crystal. Uh, right now it's, it's holding it down. But anyway, just going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, share my thoughts on certain things. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section. I do my best to answer them as I do on all my videos. Now some of the tire shines that I also use are actually not in this lineup. One is the Royal Shine. The other one is um, Blue Magic. Um, that uh, actually not in this lineup because I didn't use it all up. Anyway, uh, starting with the Meguiar's Endurance Tire Gel. Uh, this is probably the first tire gel that I, well, really almost like the first tire shine that I used, like when it first dropped. I thought this thing was the best thing since sliced bread. But you know, as things evolve, you know, you try more products, you know, others come along. Durance Tire Gel. Out of all of these, this is the longest lasting tire shine. Because as the gel is thick, you know, of course it's gonna bond. Also, a con is that, um, you know, depending on where you live, if it's a lot of sand or dirt, it will cling to the tire. Um, depending on, of course, how much that you use. All right. That's Endurance Tire Gel. The Crystal Prada Untouchable Wet Tire Finish. And reason why this is my number one tire shine for right now. Um, not only does it give you that wet look. You know how I let my tires wet, dog. You know how I let my tires wet. <laughs> but not only does it give you a nice wet finish, it's very affordable. This can is the cheapest out of all of them with either the same or exceeded results. This is um, $4.88. Okay. Next is the Meguiar's Insane Tire Shine. Now, what I think this is actually um, dub. tire shine in a new can basically um because it's it shines just like the dub shine they had i don't know what they did with the dub edition but it's pretty much the same thing this does give you a high gloss shine the longevity is not as good um as of course the endurance tire shine but out of all the out of all these cans here this is probably the less durable so it does give you a high gloss shine, but it is a less durable. Uh, next, this was kind of a hen and gem. Um, actually, a coworker of mine told me about this. Asked him what he used on his tires. I'm like, man, your tires look wet, man. What you put on that? He said, Simonize. I was like, mm, I'm not too funny with Simonize, but I don't know if I'm even saying Simonize, Simonize. Man, you know, I live in Georgia, man. We country. Anyway, <laughs> this is it, it wet is all I can say wet get your tires wet durability is hmm we're just gonna say as far as durability on all of these products is seven days okay you will get the high gloss shine for about two days after two days it goes to a you know medium shine between three to five days now five to seven days 
it just gives your your wheels the uh, uh, matte finish I want to say because it's, it is not wet like it was but it does give um, a slight sh shine to it okay that's with this one all right eagle one epic shine formula I did a video on this and I'll also be linking these um these uh, products that I'm reviewing at the bottom of the uh, bottom of my um, my title whatnot or I'll put them somewhere up here you know you know the thing that pop out you can click on it and go to my video anyway Eagle One great great tire shine con is the spray on this thing is garbage so what I did was basically I don't know if it's the same one but what I did actually was because it doesn't spray it I believe the, the stuff is so thick that it doesn't come out the sprayer well so you usually have to use like a foam applicator pad or some type of pad of some sort and use it but what I did was I just took a, a old can or one of these that has a good sprayer put them on there sprays a lot better so if you got this and you say oh man the sprayer sucks man just take the sprayer cap off and you know find you a good old can and then put it on there it spread a lot better a lot better but not great like the other can is but all right that's the kind of that as far as shine shine is wet dog the shine is very good now if i had to rank it out of the previous ones well you know what i'll rank all of them at the end of the video but nice wet look very long lasting um, these two are pretty much neck and neck as far as longevity and durability. Um, these are kind of neck and neck, even though this actually come out of aerosol can, which is surprising. All right. Last but not least, the ultimate wet street legal tire shine. This is probably the most, um, dry to the touch wetness um, I don't believe it's wetter than any of these but it is a nice shine don't get me wrong for one's longevity you're gonna get about four days out of this can you know what well, four days out of a shine at all okay all right next I'm gonna go to pricing this can 14 ounces ten dollars this can 16 ounces I believe I paid nine dollars the nitro actually picked this up at a Ross uh, for three dollars but normally if you was to go into your local auto zone more than likely you will get it for seven dollars um, and if I'm saying the price is wrong I just put a little description um let you know how much it actually costs after this video or whatever after i edit it anyway mcguire tire shine 15 ounces oh i'm sorry this is also it's a 13 ounce 13.75 ounce can this one is a 15 ounce can this was nine dollars of course as you all know this one's a 13 ounce can four dollars and 88 cent four dollars 88 cent all right, now I'm gonna go from my personal favorite of what I've used. Um, I will also do an honorable mention of the Blue Magic and the Royal Shine towards the end of the, more towards the end of the video. But anyway, I'm gonna rank mine from least to best. All right, least to best. And what, what I'm taking accountability of is one is pricing usability durability okay so pricing how affordable it is um ease of application and how long it lasts okay least favorite the endurance tire shine okay um it's a little thick so it takes a little bit longer to put on your tire um, but it does have other good qualities as you can put them on like your plastic trim things of that nature which all of these you pretty much do that, that with also the, the smell on this is 
it's pretty good which most of Maguire stuff smells pretty good so this is the least favorite the second well, well the, yeah well I should say the second least favorite still good is the Eagle One nice shine nice durability but what knocks this down is the ease of application it's horrible don't like it and the smell isn't that great either all right next up would be <laughs> the ultimate wet street legal now this for it as expensive it is i would have thought better results but it is a 14 ounce can so i kind of get that but easeability i mean the um application process is, is really easy with it but the shine is not uh you know what kind of knocks it down is the shine it doesn't last as well so all right that leaves these three i'm also speck of the blue magic too um so the next one on the list would be bingo Maguire's ultimate tire shine expensive but you do get a lot of product with 15 ounces smell is okay but uh, like I said the durability is not as long as these other two all right next would be as y'all know the nitro more affordable ease of application smells not too great longevity is good all right now the other one that i will put next i know everyone said okay well the joe that leaves you with just the crystal is the winner well the crystal is the winner but the other one is the blue magic i'll probably show you a picture of the blue magic blue magic super wet durability is good um durability lasts pretty much as much as these not as much as these two of course durability is really good smell is okay i believe that's a 13 ounce can and of course y'all already know the winner this thing right here this boy right here four dollars four dollars yo four dollars and 88 cent super ease of application nice strong stream of tire um, product get 13 ounces you know you can't be i mean the price alone just with four dollars and 88 cent and it out, it'll outshine all these which one um the blue magic now is close blue magic and this one here are kind of neck and neck the smell is better because I think it has some type of cherry scent or whatever. Um, but it don't smell like no cherries. It still don't smell good. But, you know, who cares anyway. But, yeah. That's my little product analysis, suggestion, review. Just my top tire shines that I use. Oh, uh, Royal Shine. I know I mentioned that earlier. Royal Shine. I'll try to find a picture of that too and put it up. Royal Shine super ease of application where i rank it at as far as all the tire shines that i mentioned here before it will be probably before this one so it'll actually if i had if i had one over here it'll be the royal shine and then this and then y'all already said i already know what it is anyway preach y'all hanging can't even talk now appreciate you all hanging with me for these 14, 15 minutes out your day because you know I appreciate y'all time, man. Time is something you can't get back. So for you to click on a video and ask me and actually hear me ramble through tire shines, I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe if you wish. If you don't, I understand why. Once again, it's that view and I appreciate that view to time out your day to click on my little page and I appreciate it. Anyway, to all my fathers, happy Father's Day. Y'all keep up the good work. Remember, we hold a lot of responsibility as fathers. Always remember that. Anyway, y'all stay up. Peace.